tonight, Spike is live in New York and Los Angeles as Xbox jumps ahead to a new generation of games and entertainment. It's the launch of Xbox One, and we're celebrating with performances by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis here in the Big Apple and Dead Mouse in Los Angeles. Plus, get a look at exclusive games like Forza Motorsport 5, Dead Rising 3, Titanfall, and experiences like NFL on Xbox One, and meet the gamer who's about to cross the 1 million gamer score mark. Join the celebration, guys. This is Xbox One Day One Countdown, and it starts right now. As you guys can see, the Xbox One has officially arrived here in New York City. It happened a little bit earlier via armored truck. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Keeley, live here in New York City. And where better to have a countdown celebration than Times Square? But tonight, instead of a ball, it's the Xbox One that is dropping into the hands of fans across North America and Europe. The celebrations actually started Earlier today there you can see the armored truck dropping them off for the fans here in New York City. They're going to get them in just under an hour. But the celebration has actually been going on all around the world today and we're going to talk about that. But right now I'm joined by the man who helped put this great celebration together, Xbox Chief of Strategy and Marketing, Yusuf Mehdi. Yusuf, tonight is a huge night. The fans cannot wait for Xbox One. This is a uh, been an amazing journey for you guys to get to this uh, point today, but let's talk about what's been going on around the world all day, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's been incredible. First, let me just say it's an amazing honor to be here with you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, representing it. the Xbox team and all the employees around the world. We've been working for years to get to this point, and uh, you're right. So today, we've already launched in 12 countries wow. uh, across major cities, Paris, Berlin, uh, London, and, and now we're here in New York City to celebrate the launch of uh, Xbox One, and we've done some amazing things. We lit up the uh, harbor in Sydney, uh, we lit up uh, Leicester Square, became Xbox Square. Uh, it's been fantastic. All right, well, we all come back here to New York City. There's been fans lined up for days here uh, in front of the Best Buy Theater to get an Xbox One tonight. You've got Times Square billboards taking over everything, but a lot has been, there's been kind of this takeover of New York by, uh, I, I saw some zombies and things like that, right? Absolutely, look, it's the gaming business. Yeah. If we can't have fun in the gaming business, what are we gonna do? So we had uh, 100 zombies walking across the Manhattan Bridge. We had four of them were sport five cars lit up in green, hightailing it through the city. And we even had Roman soldiers taken off from an epic walk through the city to usher in uh, a new era of games and entertainment. So how does it feel for you and the team? This has been you know, a, a major project. You guys have been very ambitious with your vision for Xbox One. How does it feel tonight that, I mean, people are buying it all around the world? Well, I mean, it's hard to describe, to be yeah. honest with you. You almost start getting a little bit, you know, teary-eyed here because you get the energy from the fans. The biggest thing has been out there with all the fans who lined up for days. First guy was here for a couple days, and you hear their passion that I think surpasses our passion, and I think that's what fuels us as a, as a group, and, uh, and it makes tonight really special. They are a loud and vocal crowd, yeah. but they're getting their Xbox Ones tonight, and there's a lot of great stuff to experience on it. Well, Yusuf, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We'll see you throughout the night, and uh, a lot of cool things to show gamers tonight about Xbox One. Really excited about it. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate All right, it. Very cool stuff. Thanks, Yusuf. All right, well, the celebration tonight spans the continent. We're also live out in Los Angeles, where fans and celebrities are getting their hands on with Xbox One, and in true Xbox One fashion, let's snap over to my GTTV co-host, Daniel Kaiser in Los Angeles, who is hanging out with the man you may know on Twitter as Xbox P3. Let's try this. Xbox, go to Los Angeles. Oh, thanks so much, Jeff. We are live here in Los Angeles, and I am here with Phil Spencer, the head of Microsoft Studios. So good to see you. Congrats on the launch of the Xbox One tonight, Phil. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's an exciting night. It is. It took a long road to get here, though, but we are here. Tell us about this event. This is quite the event you guys are putting on. Yeah, you know, we started about a month ago with our Area One tours, of letting gamers around the world come and get their hands on Xbox One, play the games, landing here in Los Angeles for this huge event here at Milk Studios. Hundreds of people lining up to get their Xbox Ones and playing games on the floor. Great show. It is great atmosphere, great energy, but of course every console launch comes down to the games. And you guys got a lot here at launch, a very uh, impressive launch roster. Tell us about what you're looking forward to the most. Thanks, I appreciate that. We have 22 launch games, more launch games than we've ever had. You know, third party stood up a lot of strong titles. First party, we have a lot of great games. You know, I'm a big fan of Forza. Forza Motorsport 5 is here. We've got great new cars. We've got Rise, Son of Rome, an exclusive new game from Crytek. 
Dead Rising 3. But we also got a lot of indie developers coming to the platform for the first time with their ID at Xbox program. You know, the diversity of content, the depth of content, stronger than we've ever had at launch, no doubt. And multiplayer is a big issue for you guys in this generation moving forward. You really are going to own the multiplayer space as, as much as the living room. You're looking to do that, right? Yeah, you know, you talk about multiplayer, Forza for the first time, 16 cars on track simultaneously racing, all the things we're doing in cloud. I mean, the connected consoles as strong as ever with the power behind it, and we just see millions and millions of people connecting every day with their Xbox 360s. Same thing will happen with Xbox One. Yeah, now I know that you mentioned Forza, which is an impressive looking game, really shows off the quality of the console in terms of uh, the hardware capabilities, but you got a chance in real life recently to visit Ferrari and actually check out the super limited La Ferrari. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, I'm a big car enthusiast, a big Ferrari fan. I was over there actually just last week meeting with their lead designers, talking to them about how their cars show up in the games. You know, they were blown away with the way their cars are represented in the game. The cars that they have are just incredible. You know, it's a great partnership we have with Ferrari and a lot of the, the, the automotive manufacturers. It's the only way many people get to drive a Ferrari in a game like Forza Motorsport 5. Forza definitely is a looker. A lot of people playing it here tonight. Have you gotten some reaction so far from people checking out the games? Yeah, you know, I walked the line. It was amazing. I like this, the diversity in content. Some people like NBA. Some people are all about Dead Rising. Some Forza fans. You know, you just see gamers love all kinds of content. We have a great lineup for them, so it felt really good. Yeah, it's a really, really exciting night for you guys. Thanks so much for spending some time with us talking about this. we got some celebrating to do. Before we do that, though, Phil, once again, congrats on the launch of the Xbox One tonight. It's time now to head backstage and visit with Justine. Justine? All right, so a launch event like this requires to have the world's biggest electronic musician, and I'm here with Dead Mouse. Hi. How are you? I'm good. A little tired flying all day, but worth it. Now, where'd you come in from? Uh, Toronto. Oh, great. Planet Hoth. We need it's to get freezing. you some coffee because we heard the Xbox One launch. And what are you most looking forward to with the Xbox as soon as you get it? I'll uh, get mine when I leave. <laughs> are you going to take it home, right. play all night? Are you going to yeah. sleep at all? Uh, no, no. You know what? I haven't really been uh, researching into it and getting all geek, uh, you know, all over the place about it. So, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to just taking it out of the box, you know, and popping in a game or whatever. And then just fiddling around with it. Until can, we, can we look forward to an unboxing video at all? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to do a 30-minute unboxing thing. I'm going to take an X-Acto knife, cross the cellophane, and gauge it. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful, and I will yeah. look for it. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of new games coming out. Is there one that you're particularly looking forward to? Uh, I've only seen two, and I'm looking forward to two. So there are already two for two, uh, Killer Instinct and The Force of Five. And Titanfall is coming out sometime next year, too. For this just in. It's going to be awesome. Okay. <laughs> so you're performing tonight, and there's a ton of people out there that are actually waiting to see you. Now, are you performing any new songs that we can look forward to? Yeah, I've had a, I've had a busy couple of weeks in the studio, just milling around with random ideas, nothing quite finished. So, uh, But I've managed to sneak them into sets and stuff like that. That's usually how my albums work. It's like I do, like small pieces of stuff and then, and then management's like yo you needed an album so i gotta <laughs> glue them all together do you plan on traveling with your xbox uh yeah i hope so if they they make one of those uh the games cases yeah yeah, yeah. amazing yeah that'd be cool all right well thank you so much yeah, thanks. i'm looking forward to your performance and maybe we can play some call of duty later maybe sure. sounds like a plan all right well that's it for los angeles we're gonna be heading over to jeff Keeley in times square all right, thanks, Justine. I am out here with the first person in line for Xbox One, Hanoi. Uh, when did you get here, Matt? I got here yesterday, Wednesday, 9 a.m. It's going to be worth it, right? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get the Xbox. All right, well, we got that coming up soon. You're also going to meet the first person to cross the million gamer score mark on Xbox Live, hopefully. And also, Vince and Abby are here from Respawn to share the latest on Titanfall. All that and more coming up live right here on Xbox Day One Countdown on Spike. You're almost there, Hanoi.
critics believe in Chris Angel's new series, the must-see television event of the fall. Oh my God. Houdini, who? No. Death-defying and vastly entertaining. Do you believe? Chris Angel Believe, new episodes, Tuesdays at 10 on Spike. Next Gen is here, and GameTrailers.com is the destination for all the latest news and videos in the industry we all know and love. For more original shows you can't find anywhere else, like The Final Bosman and Pack Attack, to our video reviews and previews, incredible features, and everything in between, GameTrailers.com is here to be your guide as we take steps from one generation into another. The man, the myth, the legend, Michael Pachter answers the questions gamers have worldwide in GameTrailers.com's weekly original show, Pack Attack. Join the video game analyst every Saturday at noon as he dishes out the numbers, says it like it is, and makes predictions that leave the industry buzzing. That's what's going on outside. That is the matrix out there, okay? Only on GameTrailers.com. The world's greatest kickboxers clash in the world's most famous arena. Glory comes live from the MSG Theater, where a one-night tournament will crown a new lightweight world champion, plus a main event showdown between Joe Schilling and Wayne Barrett. He's not getting up! Glory 12, Saturday at 9, live on Spike. Next Gen is here, and everything is changing. From the way we play games to the business behind the curtain, Game Trailers has its pulse on the industry. Join video game journalist Jeff Keighley as he sits down with the biggest names in video games to discuss the topics that matter to gamers and the industry at large in the bonus round every Sunday at noon on GameTrailers.com. There's something special about video games. We know it, you know it, and no matter how many generations of consoles we go through in our lives, it's always hard to say goodbye. As we move into next gen, we wanted to honor the last generation in this special feature only available on GameTrailers.com. We asked guests from across the industry to join us and share their favorite moments in a multi-part special feature called I Love Last Gen. And you'll never believe what they had to share. So join us right now at GameTrailers.com to celebrate the end of one era in gaming and usher in another, because in the end, we love last gen. Tuesdays on Spike, Chris Angel and his team take you behind the scenes to witness the method to his magic. Let's not hide anything from the public. Let's show them the process. Oh! If Shaq can float it, you can float it. Oh, hell no. Oh! For the very first time, we're giving up some secrets. It's like the ultimate table of death. Exactly. Chris Angel believes new episodes Tuesdays at 10 on Spike. He's just some guy who works in a cubicle that likes video games. Not a big name corporate man or some Johnny Wise guy, he's just a regular old Kyle Bosman. Why? Every Wednesday morning, Kyle brings us his unique take on the game industry in a way only he can deliver in the final Bosman only on GameTrailers.com.